What's good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And today, I want to talk about Little Boosie and its controversial comments, which are aimed at Dwayne Wade and his son becoming Zaya. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, I did a video a few days ago discussing the game and the game's take. And I was actually shocked on the support that the game gave to Dwayne Wade and his son with the transitioning process of him becoming a girl. And, you know, listen to the game and listening to some of his lyrics before and, you know, knowing, you know, how, you know, gang members or ex-gang members think, especially because I'm from California. I kind of figured like something like this would totally be you know, out of, out of the line, right? It, it, it's something that won't be supported. But here's the, the skinny on this. Boosie's response is actually what I thought the game response would be. Boosie is totally against it, all right? And, and like it or not, um, he's probably one of the, the few people to vocalize it. He's totally against what Dwayne Wade is doing. Um, I mean, he's not against him, you know, the son being gay, but he's against the transitioning process. And let me be honest when I say this, a lot of people believe what Boosie's feeling, okay? They might not say it because, you know, fear of getting reprimanded or fear of losing their job or fear of be, you know, being, being called, you know, uh, names or a hater or, you know, being part of hate group, stuff like that. But a lot of people are where Boosie is on this, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna play the Instagram clip of what Boosie actually said, you guys will hear it right here. So we'll take some time right now to let Boosie say what he's gonna say, and then I'm gonna come back and give my thoughts on this. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you going too fucking far, dog. That is a male, a 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what their next meal gonna be. They don't they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything, at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone. How you going? Like, bro, that's, it's, it's, you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro, for real. If he going to be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off, Dwayne Wade, bro. You fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. All right, so you guys saw what Boosie says this, says in his video, and you can see what he said in the beginning or in the tag. I'm going to say it since this, you know, P-U-S, you know, world ain't going to say it. You tripping, nigga, hashtag, period. And, you know, what I'm also shocked at is the defense of a lot of blacks in America to come and crush Boosie, right? Now, let's look at this comment right here, the, the guy named Frederick Joseph. He says, Boosie is the same man who said he wanted a grown woman to have sex with his 14-year-old son. I think D-Wade is good in parenting advice from him. Now, 2,733 likes. If you look at here, maybe you have a guy here, Eminem, uh, M V S T R M V Y N E. Lou Boosie has eight kids of his own and he's worried about Dwayne Wade's. All right. So um, now let me look at this also here. Z Taylor. Imagine Dwayne Wade taking parent advice from an ex felon with eight children who was in jail for bottoming for packages of ramen noodles who calls himself Boozy Badass at the age of 37. All right, so as you can see, my man Boosie is getting getting torched up a little bit, right? Um, let me let me let me talk about this. So obviously, you know, Boosie doesn't. I don't know what the process is. Let's talk about the process of the transitioning. I don't know. I'm not going to research it for real. But what people are saying is, you know, um, it, it doesn't require the surgery. I don't know. So nobody in the family made any mention about the surgery. So basically, if it's about transitioning to a girl, well, then it must be like, you know, you must transition the body parts. Um, nobody in the family mentioned a surgery, uh, you know, and so people were pointing that out. 
But here's a situation people are pointing out when you make comments like this. I think, you know, although these are what I would consider ad hominem arguments, people are going to look at your past. And Boosie has a pretty retarded past, right? He makes comments, um, you know, about like he wants his son to be with an older woman. He would let that happen. I mean, that is bad parenting, right? And you, 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 you can't be somebody like Boosie you know, to a lot of people and you're consistently saying stupid shit. You know, you go on Vlad TV, you're saying stupid shit, um, you know, and you're saying stupid stuff on your personal, your personal life. And what people are going to do is they're going to come against your message. Now, a lot of people agree with his message. Okay. Even me, I had a certain level of agreement because I said, listen, if you're going to go ahead and do a transition, um, that should be for an adult all right an 18 year old not a 12 year old okay even with the parental consent because with the parental consent you know you still even go to the military you have to be a certain age at least 17 with the parental consent you have to be certain things to even get married stuff so 12 to go ahead and transition and do that that should still be a mature thing an 18 year old thing so i agree with him in large part to certain things that he's saying but at the same time what people are going to do is they're going to come after you. Uh, and they're going to come after you in a, in a major way. Like, check out this dude, Slighty Problematic. I, you guys got to look at this clip, man. It's hilarious. Uh, we're going to play that here just in a minute. But, um, you know, it, it just, it just, it's just interesting right now that the divide that black the black internet is having um, about this topic. It just goes to show we are in a different time and space. This is not the 90s, all right? This is not even 2010. This is not even 2005. We in 2020, where a lot of people that are young are support this. You know, guys in my generation, like Boosie, I mean, I mean, we're not letting that, we're not letting that slide, man. You know, we, we're seeing um, a lot of the feminization of young black men. A lot of people in this generation don't see it. I mean, you know, we saw it with Snoop Dogg's son, Cordell, which I gotta actually, you know, drop some knowledge behind that. And uh, Cordell brought us, I believe his name. And uh, we, 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 we saw the pictures that he took and, you know, he's okay with it. And, you know, it's a different thought process toward masculinity now. And a, a lot of people in the days, in, in this day and age, the way they dress, the way they, you know, talk about stuff in the music is different from our generation. It's different from Boosie's generation. And Boosie's, a, a, you know, a relatively young man. You know, I'm 38, he's 37. So it just goes to show that the tide is kind of passing by from conservative principles, um, which is fair. And I would tell uh, a lot of brothers like this, you know, um, right now I'm in Africa, I'm in Uganda. Uh, and that's why I haven't been doing a lot of live streams and stuff. But one thing I can respect about this society is, um, you know, men are still going to be men. Uh, men are going to be looked to be uh, in their masculine principles. And one thing I will say is that if you're going to be in America and you're trying to be uh, a, a black man and, and, and me on the principles and stand up and, and say things that that should be considered normal you could get criticized for it and you know you there's lots of pay behind it you know losing your job losing your income now thankfully Boosie's in such a situation that he can speak on it and his income not gonna be so hurt because he never been like you know big mainstream like a snoo <coughs> are caught up in the industry like Jay-Z. But just think about that as black men, you know, you, you may have to leave, man, the United States, if you really wanna be able to say what you wanna say and do what you wanna do in those things, because, you know, um, you're not gonna have a lot of freedom to to, to, to to move like you would like to. So, I mean, that's just my thoughts on the whole process, brothers. What do you think? Let me know what you got to say about this. Now, also uh, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell, all my contact information is pinned to the top. You guys see it. Grab you a Black Men Are Perfect t-shirt. And brothers, as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. We out.